Rough waters for Social Security and Medicare, according to the latest annual report from the trustees of both programs. For the first time since the early 1980s, Social Security has been forced to dip into reserves to meet payouts. And the primary trust fund for Medicare, the part of the program that covers hospitals and nursing care for seniors and disabled Americans, is expected to be depleted three years earlier than projected. From our health desk at WHYY in Philadelphia, Marketplace's Dan Gorenstein looks at what's driving this trend. Several factors are at play. One is the tax plan passed by Congress late last year, which lowers payroll taxes and the tax on Social Security benefits. A huge driver? Demographics. Today, there are 62 million people in Social Security. That jumps to 90 million by 2040. The thing about that growth, there will be fewer workers supporting those beneficiaries. In 1960, there were about five workers for every man or woman in the program. By 2016, that had fallen to less than three and is projected to keep shrinking over the next several decades. In terms of Medicare, there's less money coming in due to lower 2017 wages than had been projected and lower levels of gross domestic product. There's also more money going out. In a statement, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said the administration's economic agenda of tax cuts, regulatory reform, and better trade deals will bring needed funds to the two programs.